Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Belt and I am so excited for today's video because we are doing a full face of makeup that I received in PR. I can't wait to dive into this because I have been dying to open up these products. If you are new here and not subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure to turn on the bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. And let's go ahead and jump on into this video. Okay, for this video, we are gonna be a little up close and personal because we're gonna be testing out makeup. I'm gonna start with primer as always. Sculpted by Amy Connolly. This is the Beauty Base All-in-One Moisturizing Primer. I personally love a primer. I love a moisturizing primer, so I was really stoked to try this one out. And if you've never heard of this brand before, her products are amazing. This feels so good. If you are a dry gal like me, you're gonna love this primer. This gives lots of hydration, but it doesn't feel like oily on the skin, you know what I mean? I literally just received today my first PR package from Estee Lauder. Their double wear foundation used to be my holy, holy grail until I became a dry skin queen. This is the double wear sheer long wear makeup. It has SPF uh, 19 in it. I feel like I'm gonna love this. I normally use two in one desert beige, so I hope that this is my correct shade. Oh, it looks like it might be a little too light, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna work with it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Even though it's a little light, the finish of this is stunning. My skin is still showing through, but it still provided a little bit of coverage. I love this product. And once again, if you are a dry gal, I think you're going to love this. And before we jump into the rest of this video, I do wanna pause for just a minute for today's sponsor, Ana Luisa Jewelry. I have partnered with them many times. You guys know I love their pieces. They are a sustainable jewelry brand. They basically create quality pieces that aren't gonna hurt the planet. Their pieces are very classy. They are pieces that kind of stand the test of time. They're not super, super trendy pieces that are gonna you know, come and go. Um, so I'm wearing a few of their pieces today. Let me back you up just a little bit. So here is this stacked necklace piece that I am obsessed with. This stacked necklace piece is called their Garda Blue. And I am just obsessed with layering necklaces right now. So this is totally my jam. This one has a beautiful pearl in it. And then this thinner one has this beautiful blue detail to it. This is a glass pearl. Both chains are dipped in 14 karat gold. Then we have this matching bracelet. This is their Genova Blue bracelet. Also dipped in 14 karat gold and it has enamel coated beads that are in this beautiful shade of blue, just like this necklace. And then probably my favorite, favorite piece, I just love it, especially for summer, are these earrings. Oh my gosh, they're little flowers. These are called their Clementine earrings. And I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but it features their green aventurine gemstone. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably butchering it, but it's a beautiful green stone. And also dipped in 14 karat gold. This is a brand that I absolutely love. I go back to them time and time again for my class more dainty jewelry pieces. They're just stunning. I do have a 10% off discount code for you guys. Make sure to check the description box for all of the information. If you are all about working with sustainable companies that are gonna keep our planet nice and clean and pure, then this is definitely a brand that you would want to partner with as well. So definitely check them out. I'll leave all of the information on the ones that I'm currently wearing in the description box as well. And yeah, thank you so much to Ana Luisa for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. Jumping back in, I do not have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go in with my favorite, favorite concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And because this foundation is extremely sheer, this will give us just a little extra coverage. Okay, next up, we're gonna finally warm up the skin because I am definitely feeling a little bit on the pale side. And I just got this Makeup by Mario Contour Stick Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light Medium. And this is just gonna help warm up my skin just a tad. Makeup by Mario products, they all slay. Like. I have never in my life, like every single product that I've ever tried from his brand, 
incredible. I was supposed to work with Makeup on Mario and I got ghosted by his PR team. If you guys want to hear that story, then you should definitely head over to my TikTok page. And um, it's actually why I just got a bunch of PR from him. He reached out to me personally, which was absolutely mind blowing, insane. I can't believe it, but him and I are BFFs now. So, um, so yeah. Okay, now that we're feeling a little more sculpted, I do have a bronzer. This is from Lottie London. I just got this and it did come shattered, but we're still gonna try it. We're still gonna try it. This is called Sun Catcher. Eh. Tap a little bit of that off on the back of my hand and then go in. Oh yeah, whoa, crazy pigmented. But I do love that it has like this reddish undertone. To me, gives that more like real reminiscent color of what the sun kind of gives your skin, you know what I mean? I actually have another product from Sculpted by Amy Connolly. This is their Cream Luxe, Cream Luxe Cream Blush. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. I love a cream blush. I, uh, I just love it. And I'm gonna actually go in with my Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna go right into that product, just like that, and go right in on the cheeks. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. If you wanted it to be more opaque, then you can use a brush. Put a little bit on the nose. This is the Brow Tint Pencil from Glam Squad by GSQ. It is a dual-ended pencil, so it has a pencil on one side, and then it has this itty-bitty little brush for um, the brow gel. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this little brow gel. Not bad, not bad. Okay, next up is eyeshadow, and I do have two new palettes from Lottie London. It is their The Rust palette. This is gonna be the one that I'm gonna go with because it matches what I'm wearing. The other one is this one from ColourPop. It's their Strawberry Sweet Pressed Powder Palette. This looks so fun. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go with the vibe today. First, I'm gonna go in with this lightest matte shade right here, just kind of all over the lid. Y'all, this base product is so pretty. Next, I'm gonna go into this deeper shade right here, go right into the crease there and just blend that. Also, if you're wondering what brushes I'm using, most of the brushes that you'll see me use are from BK Beauty. They are my absolute favorite brushes. Their brushes just kind of do the work for you. I'll have them linked in the description box if you are interested. Wow, these are really good shadows. These eyeshadows are absolutely stunning and the look was going great until I started messing with the inner corner. I tried to do something a little different. I went in with that orange and that was not the move. So I'm not loving what this is looking like. I am gonna use some eyeliner and I'm gonna go in with this one from Revlon Colorstay Line Creator. This is a dual pencil, has a longer liquid pencil on one and then a cold pencil on the other. Oh, so this is the kind of liquid. I thought this was gonna be like a felt tip pen, but it's okay. I haven't used one of these in a very, very long time, so I don't know how well I'm gonna do, but. This type of liquid liner literally gives me anxiety. <laughs> and I get it all over my lashes. But the liner itself actually looks really good, minus my messy application. We'll just use the coal side to add a little definition to the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Exhibition 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner. This is in the shade Gold in my waterline. I felt like this would be the perfect shade for the waterline for this look. Ooh, I really like that. This reminds me of the Urban Decay um, pencils. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's really, really lovely. This is a beautiful pencil. It goes on very easily. It's nice and creamy. I have three different mascaras and I don't know which one to try. Oh, I think I'm gonna go with the one from Winky Lux because I feel like I've had a lot of really good luck using their products. I don't, Extrava Lash, I think that's how you say it. I don't know how it's gonna go over top of this where I got the liquid liner all in my lashes. That is a very interesting applicator. I don't know how I feel about that applicator. This is not working for me and part of it might be because I had accidentally got that liquid liner 
on my lashes. I feel like it's gonna be a good mascara. I just feel like right now my lashes are clumpy because of that liner. So, not a fair chance for the mascara. I need to retest this at a different time. Ooh, I do love this for my bottom lashes. I'm actually gonna do some magnetic lashes. I probably should have used this as my eyeliner, but we're gonna try to layer it on top of the existing eyeliner, but first I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. Makeup by Mario, lip pencil. This is the Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in the shade Tan. I just got this in PR. I feel like my lips are always crooked, always. And then I'm gonna go in with this Winky Lux Perfect Pout Lipstick. This is in the shade Pounce. Look how adorable this is. It has like a little cat emblem right in the center, it's so cute. Oh, oh my goodness. This is literally like a moisture balm. That feels so, so good. I forgot highlighter, we're gonna do highlighter and I just got this one from Makeup on Mario. This is the Master Crystal Reflection Highlighter and this is very different. It's not like your typical highlight formula. It's a very kind of glittery formula so it's not gonna be for everybody but I really am obsessed with how it looks on the skin. Even though, yes, you can see the glitter in it, it's a very, it's very, very tiny flex of glitter. Oh my gosh. It's in the shade Bronze, Bronzonite? Bronzite. Wow, wow. And I actually feel like I want to use a little bit of this to tap onto that lid. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, so of course this can be used as an eyeshadow as well. Stunning. I am gonna go in with just a little more of that cream blush because I feel like I've kind of lost a little bit of it. We're gonna try these lashes. These are from Bali Lash. I've never tried anything from this brand before. I love the style of these. These are called Millie. This is a magnetic lash, so it comes with the Lash Liner Eyeliner Lash Adhesive. We're just gonna do it just like liner, and it looks like a little felt tip liner. Well, I have to say, that liner performed way better than the one from Revlon. Okay, I think that's on. That was almost too good to be true. This lash is like perfect for me because I don't like lashes that are too, too big. I've got very small eyes. Love the liner for this. I think this is a winner, y'all. This is my favorite setting spray of life, but they just sent me the brand new bottle that they came out with in PR. This is from Caudalie. It is their beauty elixir. You can use this before, during, after your makeup. You can use it to refresh your makeup. It smells like a literal spa. Literally intoxicating, I love it. And then one last little pounce of the Beauty Blender and we are done with this makeup look. What do you guys think? I think this turned out so, so beautiful. Definitely let me know what you think of this look in the comments below. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these products and if you have any product suggestions, products that you have been loving, loving, loving. Once again, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa for all of your jewelry needs. I'll have everything linked in the description box, including the discount code. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Peace out.